What is going on guys? It is Rory here at Rory Wellburn Gaming with another new awesome video for you guys. This is how to hit the perfect shot on Way of the Hunter. So ladies and gentlemen, if you can, please do subscribe to the channel. Also, if you guys can also hit that notification icon, that will notify you guys of all content that I do put up in the future. And if you could give this video a massive like and also do drop me a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on this video. So let's get into this. So I'm going to show you guys basically now how to hit that perfect heart or long shot. Now, all depending on the scenario, what you guys are in. Yes, it will change all depending on if the animal is broadside, if it is coming straight onto you, it all depends on that shot. Try and make it be a broadside shot or a dead on hard shot. Watch and learn, guys. Watch and learn. So, at the moment, in this video, I am calling a mature female meal deer in. She's coming head on to us. Hopefully, I do get a good enough shot to show you guys in the video. This is going to be awesome. So coming on to us now, she's at round about 60 yards. Um, we are using the 308 Monoblanc. Just a quick call in. Get her a little bit closer. So I'm going to pause the video soon and I'm going to show you what I mean by the head on um, hard shot basically when the animal is coming straight forward to you. She's just branching off to the right a little bit but I do call again and she does come that little bit further forward. Just zooming the scope out a little bit more. Don't want it obviously too much onto the animal. Because when we do hold breath, it does obviously zoom in that little bit. So right there. So just pause the video. So right there. If you have got an animal coming straight on towards you, you've called it in, regardless which animal it is, um, bears, deer, elk, all same scenario. So basically, exactly where that red dot is now, we are zeroed in at 54.68 yards. Um, you don't get really much of a increase within, obviously, a bullet going higher or lower. Um, basically, 54 yards, basically, where that red dot is within... The 54 yard allocation that bullet will go in that direction but i don't take this shot i'm going to show you the broadside shot but if you are going to take a head-on shot that is exactly where you guys want to be aiming straight in the middle straight between the shoulders bang so she does veer off to the left she is obviously nice and broadside now so I'm going to pause the video again soon to show you exact. well, you will see the shot, but I'm going to explain in more detail exactly where you do put this shot. So right there. So when people say, I don't understand exactly where the shot does go, I hear this terminology all, all the time, broadside shot. So basically by meaning broadside, that is your animal basically lengthways on. Oh, sorry, width ways on my apologies. Width ways are on two years. So basically, head left, body right, or vice versa. Whichever way that is, you've got your then perfect broadside shot. So basically, you can see where that red dot is now. This is basically what is called behind the shoulder. Basically, exactly where that crease does run. You can see just from the top of the chest, behind the leg, you see a dark stripe running down all the way to the bottom of the body. That is the place where you need to be putting. So basically, at the top of the leg, 
basically straight behind onto the body. This is where you are going to go straight through and get that double long shot. I'm going to show you again in the video as well where you will see a dead on hard shot. But bear with, bear with. So there we go, shot taken, look at that, bang, double hard shot, sorry, double lung shot, straight down. So just walk over now, go and pick our animal up, and basically you will see exactly where that bullet has gone. So there, exactly where we wanted that bullet to go, basically as I aimed, straight behind the shoulder, straight in for the double lung, and you can see just we missed that heart. It is nothing to basically say, well, I would rather have had the heart shot, but in the next part of the video, you're going to see what I mean by trying to go for a heart shot. It, there's a lot to take into consideration when you do go for that hard shot. But a double lung is more than suffice to take any animal down. So this part here is where I'm going to show you guys now the hard shot. You can see just in center of the screen of the animal, uh, there is a little white dot, which basically is the bullet. This is the bullet now. And this is trajectory of going straight exactly dead center for the hard shot so you can follow the trajectory of the bullet going straight through the animal right now here's me zooming in and the closer i get to the bullet then i can zoom further into the animal and show you exactly where this bullet is going so looking right now you can see the bullet is going to go straight through that right front leg we don't want to be hitting the leg. Don't hit the leg, even though you know you're going to take it out with a hard shot. Because what's going to happen is you're going to get more meat damage. So basically the haunch of the leg, as if you were doing this in real life. If that bullet had hit in real life, hit the leg, then went through, hit the heart, which is going to basically hit the lung, the heart, the lung and then it providing on the bullet that you're using this is going to obviously travel through to the next leg also so you've basically damaged two legs when realistically all you basically had to hit was that double lung so or you don't always need to go for a hard shot don't go it's not a sniping game it's not i need to get this hard shot make it an ethical kill so there we go look absolutely dead center of the heart bang straight through you couldn't get a more center heart shot to be fair and this was taken at 244 yards this animal so there see what i mean about it coming through into the next leg so it's hit the bone so there's bone damage straight away and also basically it's coming through which is destroying the meat again so you don't really want two legs damaged. Basically, just go for that. Go for a double lung. You don't need to be hitting that heart. I mean, it is nice. Don't get me wrong. It is nice to be hitting the heart because basically it just drops out within seconds. But yeah, go for the double lung. So the next part of the video is basically I'm going to be showing you now how off-putting it can be by taking a head-on shot now on this video coming up this next part it is going to basically show you how deceiving it can be that you guys are going to go yep that is the heart now i was always on the understanding exactly where i aimed on this video which obviously i've learned now is that the heart is nowhere near where i aimed and this was a head-on shot coming in and this is on an elk. So keep watching.
So here we go. Here's that elk shot that I was talking to you guys about. So looking right now, exactly where that bullet is, you're looking and going, hmm, yeah, that's sort of straight. It's sort of center chest. See where the bullet actually goes here. Don't look at the statistics on the right hand side. Don't don't be looking at them. I know you're going to now because I've said it. But looking on where the bullet is, I would say, yep, that is going to hit the heart. Watch where this bullet actually goes. This is how not to do it. You can't get any straighter than that with the trajectory. I would definitely have said, yep, this is going to hit the heart. Now watch this. Just showing all angles, which way the bullet is, how far I'm away from the animal as well. It gives you guys a better oversight to say, well, yeah. I would have said, looking at that, it's going to hit the heart. No problem at all. Gets interesting. Gets very interesting. Here we go. Literally nowhere near that heart whatsoever. We literally, just with the velocity and the expansion of the bullet, that the bullet was luckily enough to hit that left lung and make the kill. But look how far we're away. We're a good three, four inches away from the heart. How deceiving it can be by taking that head-on shot. It is so deceiving. So as a safety precaution, do go for that broadside. Double lung shot. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that was very, very helpful for you guys. I hope um, you have learned a lot. Like I said, don't go always for that hard shot. If you if you want to take the hard shot, I can't tell you guys how to be playing your game. But if you want a clean, ethical kill, yes, you might have a little bit of tracking, but is it really that bad? No. But do you want me damage or you want more money for your buck? Uh, pardon the pun. Um, but, yeah. Go for that, go for the double lung. You don't have to go for hard shots. And whatever you do, don't be going for neck shots. Don't be going for spine shots. Go for that ethical kill. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you everybody for watching the video. I hope you did learn a lot from it. Um, do keep an eye out on the channel for more content from me in the future. Um, hopefully we do get more videos um, learning you guys how to play Way of the Hunter a lot, lot better. Uh, but again, ladies and gentlemen, if you can be hitting that subscription button, also if you can be hitting the bell and notification as well to be notified of all content that I do put up in the future on the channel, don't forget to do give this video a like and do drop me a comment down below. Let me know if, yeah, Rory, what you've said is perfectly right, dude. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. Keep an eye out for more content in the future. I'm out. Be good. Be well.